Hey, has Benz coming to you live from the car. We are out mapping a potential route after the Sunday long run, which I will be talking about momentarily. Um, so the prescription for today was the prescription for today was seven miles, two miles, uh, easy warm up, whatever, three miles at a moderate pace, and then two miles at a harder tempo or up tempo effort. So I decided that I would start, run two miles at eight minute pace. Then I went to 7.30, 7.24, And finally, I think I was like 6.40, excuse me, 6.49. So that, me, that brought me to about 52 minutes, which is what, about uh, 7, 26 pace average roughly for the whole thing it felt difficult um, the 8 minute pace obviously felt really easy 730 didn't feel bad even the 724 really didn't feel that bad but once I got past halfway with me doing 3-4 miles on most of my easy days and with me, you know, on my tempo days, stopping for a few minutes to stretch and kind of get ready for the three mile up tempo section. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, you know, my legs were just kind of getting sick of it, for lack of a better way of putting it. And then on top of that, I was, I was running even harder. So, you know, I'm very, it, it was a constant sort of step down. So, definitely a really really great instance in which I was training my body to get comfortable feeling uncomfortable because for those last three miles I was especially uncomfortable pretty much the entire time um, and that's a good thing because you have to slowly train your body you have to build up that callus right that constant pounding you have to build up that callus you know I got to the end and initially I was I felt a little defeated. Um, unofficially, I took my heart rate at about 170, which is, you know, tempo. I mean, that's, you know, that's right around your tempo effort. So that's not such a bad thing considering. But um, it just felt really hard. Uh, it just felt really hard. And then I started thinking about um, some of the other factors, right? Uh, it's 6.30 in the morning. I got to sleep in today. So it's 6.30 in the morning. Um, you know, that's early. And even if you're used to it, it's tough to get your body up and revved and, and, and going, you know, early in the morning. Unless you get up, you know, two hours before you run. But I'm not doing that. I'm getting up, you know, somewhere between 15 and 30 minutes before I run. Uh, I'm fasted. Um, usually I'm fasted um, off the top of my head. It's usually about between 10... It's usually around 10 or 11 hours I've fasted. So I don't think I'm in ketosis, but uh, I'm definitely not revved and ready to go. Um, I drink as much as I can, but it takes a solid 20 to 30 minutes for water to hit your system. So you're at least starting the run in a dehydrated state, right? Because you're not up all night drinking water. Otherwise, you'd be up all night going to the bathroom and then you wouldn't you wouldn't be getting the rest that you needed so all that's to say that I think the day was a real success I did get through it I did feel uncomfortable but I continued forging on I didn't have to dig deep I didn't put the fast music on or anything like that I just listened to my podcast and kind of zoned out a little bit tried not to look down at the distance too often Spent a lot of time trying to keep my mind busy by kind of projecting and seeing what my time would be. Um, it came out, you know, about 52 minutes. So, all in all, it was a successful day at the end of a successful week. I was 29 miles. Um, taking three rest days in the middle is something that I think I'm going to correct. 
and I'm going to get through this week, which is going to be back where I was last week, around 34, 35 miles, kick my easy days back up to um, four miles, and then, of course, take the governor off, um, so run how I feel, no matter what that is every day. That doesn't mean run fast. That just means run how I feel. If I feel good, then I can, I'm giving myself permission to, to turn the pace down a little bit. And, um, and then I'll check in with you guys next Saturday and maybe I'll do, instead of doing, um, a, like a quick post run video like this, maybe I'll do one where I sit down, um, a little bit longer, maybe a couple of hours after my run where I actually sit down with you guys and we'll actually take a peek at, um, my training for February also need to do a video um also need to do a video on weight so that'll probably be be saturday and sunday um yeah saturday and sunday maybe saturday i'll do the weigh-in and the diet and then sunday i'll do a longer form talking about how january went and what february is 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 gonna hold so all in all a pretty good uh pretty good setup pretty good week feeling good. I'm not going to say that I feel rested, but I definitely feel better than I probably would feel had I jumped up to 40 miles this week. Um, and um, just trying to acclimate to the effort, acclimate to the work, and uh, get comfortable being uncomfortable. So um, I'd say that about concludes it for today. Wherever you are and whatever you're doing, I hope your running is going very well. And uh, we will uh, we will see you tomorrow for week four on the journey to sub 15.